Aaron, can you just describe your frustration right now with what went on this weekend? Tough to describe. You know, it's just just disappointing um, all around. Uh, just offensively, you know, I had a couple chances up there with runners on base and just not getting the job done. Um, you know, I'm being a guy in the middle of the order, middle of this lineup and the leader. You know, you got to step up in those those situations. You know, I look back to the first game. You know. Late in the game, had some guys on, you know, chance to just do something, you know, put the ball in play and, and get it done. So it's uh, pretty frustrating we're not able to, you know, capitalize on moments like that when you got to get out of those. That last at bat in particular with runners on, did you feel like you tried to, to maybe do too much? I know Fulmer's got a good fastball, you know, hard slider. Kind of looks just like the fastball and um, trying to get something out over. And, you know, those couple sliders took off on me and, you know, made some bad decisions. Um, and I tend to swing at the one that's, you know, hanging up there at the top of the zone. Um, yeah, so I think it's just, uh, you know, maybe see a pitch there, you know, maybe do something different. But you know, I always want to try to stay aggressive in that situation, you know, especially with guys on base. You know, I feel like I'm at my best when I'm aggressive and um, just missed two pitches off the plate. Aaron Boone has been, for the most part, overwhelmingly positive when it comes to this offense, even when you're in a rut that this offense is, is going to turn it around. W why do you think this offense will turn it around? Do you think this offense will turn it around? Oh, of course I do. That's, uh, you know, we've, I've seen each guy at their best, you know, at some point in their career, you know, and at some point during the season. And it's, you know, it's going to come, you know, but, uh, you know, what we've been putting out there right now is, is not our best and it's, it's unacceptable and you know that's where we just got to dig down deeper and you know make some changes um you know figure out you know you just can't keep coming to the plate trying to do the same thing expecting different results you know so i think it's just about us collectively just doing our homework and you know coming out here we got some big series coming up you know especially having uh the rays and red sox coming into town you know it's some two big series for us in our division so it's just about us you know doing our homework um prepare um you know, forget about this series, learn from it, and I'll you know, get ready for the new one. We can take another question for Aaron if there is one. Lindsay Adler, please unmute. Aaron, you've you've talked about trying to, you know, be a clubhouse voice, be a clubhouse leader. What do you what do you say to your teammates at this point? Do you feel like do you feel like you guys just aren't clicking? Like how do you try to um, help, I guess in baseball terms, turn the page out of this series? Oh, the biggest thing is to be honest. You know, you don't want to sugarcoat things. You know, when you're going bad, you know, you're going bad. You know, you got to let people know. And, you know, more importantly, you know, you got to accept it when someone comes up to you and says, hey, you need to, you know, pick it up. You know, and I feel like, you know, in this clubhouse, we have a lot of guys that, you know, are honest with each other and can handle it. So it's just about us being honest with each other. And, you know, we see somebody make a mistake. I'll tell them, let's pick it up and let's go. You know, that's what it takes to, you know, have a winning cha winning team and a championship team is, you know, guys that are able to communicate and let each other know we're not doing our best. Let's pick it up and, you know, keep rolling. Something that I've noticed is that when you guys do have like a series or a game like this where something starts to go wrong, then everyone sort of gets deflated. Do you, do you feel like you guys are sort of missing that like fun and enjoyment element that would allow you to sort of, you know, move past that inning? Like what is, what do you think is stopping you guys from being able to pull out of those bad innings? Yeah, you know, we, we take one bad inning, you know, we probably take it out on defense a little bit, and, you know, just kind of carry it on too much. You know, that's one thing in baseball, you got to have a short memory. You know, some of the best and most successful teams and players have a short memory where, you know, they make an out, they make an error, they do something wrong, you know, they forget about it and move on and get ready for the next play because that next pitch is the most important one of the game. Um, so I think it's just about us, you know, like I said, just have a short memory, um, be honest with each other, pick each other up, and you know, move on to the next pitch.